Beginning July 1, 2017, new PSPRS members, known as Tier 3 members, will be able to choose which type of retirement plan they would like to belong to, a defined benefit plan or a defined contribution plan. This video examines the benefit provisions of the Defined Contribution Plan, which was made available by 2016 Pension Reforms. Unlike a Defined Benefit Plan, Defined Contribution, or DC plans, do not produce a lifetime pension. Instead, DC plan benefits are determined by the amount contributed, creating a retirement account that grows over the course of a member's career and becomes accessible when a member retires. The DC plan is administered by the PSPRS Board of Trustees through a defined contribution committee it created for this very purpose. Through a competitive bid process, the DC committee has chosen nationwide retirement solutions as the record keeper for all DC member accounts. PSPRS members who choose the defined contribution plan will contribute at least 9% of their salary while their employer will make dollar for dollar matching contributions. Members will have a one-time irrevocable choice to contribute more than the 9%, but the employer match will be capped at 9%. For each year of service, members will receive ownership or vesting of 10% of the employer contributions. And after their 10th year of employment, members will own all the money contributed to their DC account by their employer. Unlike PSPRS members who elect to receive a pension, DC plan members must play an active role in managing their investments. Under the DC plan, there are about 25 investment options, including bond funds, equity funds, international funds, target date funds, balanced funds, index funds, and annuities. These options allow members to create investment portfolios that match their acceptable risk level which can change over time. Generally speaking, those who have a lot of time before they retire can afford to take more risk when investing, while those closing in on retirement typically seek to reduce investment risk. Included in the reform laws, PSPRS is required to provide education, counseling, and advice about the plan through a federally registered investment advisor who must act as a fiduciary to members. Through another competitive bid process, PSPRS has partnered with Public Safety Financial Galloway to be that provider. This service is also available to help members choose between a pension and the defined contribution plan, a decision that must be made during a member's first 90 days of employment. While this service is being provided at no charge to members in helping them make these financial decisions, members are always free to seek counseling and advice from any person or firm they choose. However, PSPRS does not and will not endorse any fee-based asset management services being offered by any person or firm. Members in the DC plan must work at least until the year they turn the age of 50 to separate employment and access their defined contribution account without penalty. Members who separate employment before the year they turn 50 must wait until they turn 59 and a half years old to access their PSPRS 401A account without penalty. All Tier 3 members will follow the same disability process and have their disability benefit calculated the same. However, members who choose the DC-only option will have their disability amount offset by a formula based on the value of their DC account, which they will get to keep. One major difference, however, is that other than line-of-duty deaths, the only survivor benefit available to a spouse or children would be the member's DC account balance. PSPRS members in the DC plan must also make contributions to fund the disability insurance pool. In 2017, this contribution will be 1.7% of a member's salary, but this rate can increase or decrease in years to come. Tier 3 members who choose the DC plan will not be eligible for the health insurance premium offset which members of the DB plan receive. This offset provides DB members with between $150 and $260 a month to offset their health insurance costs in retirement. By choosing the DC plan, you will not be eligible for this benefit. 
Overall, the Defined Contribution Plan is an option to consider for members who wish to play an active role in managing the retirement savings. The employer match also makes the DC plan a viable option for those who do not expect to work for a PSPRS employer long enough to qualify for a pension. Both the Defined Benefit and Defined Contribution Plans provide retirement benefits for Arizona's first responders covered by PSPRS. PSPRS, serving those who serve others.